Tonight, day three, and still no arrest in the killing of a 27-year-old jogger from Princeton. All of the unknowns fueling fears tonight that the suspect could strike again. This is a story that has a lot of people on edge tonight. Christina Hager is live in Princeton with the latest on the investigation and the effort by people there to protect themselves. Christina? Well, Lisa, the district attorney stopped by the town hall here to get a briefing from investigators who've been interviewing a lot of people as they await further autopsy tests. Meantime, for women who love exercising, it feels like life is on hold here. This week, runners in the town of Princeton feel like they've lost their legs. Running alone is what I can do when the kids go to school. You know, it's, and you can't always find someone to go run with. So what am I supposed to do? Stop running altogether? I don't know. As she spoke, investigators were following some 200 new leads on the death of Vanessa Marcotte, a Google manager from New York who was killed when she went out for a jog while visiting her mother in Princeton Sunday. A source said her body was naked and burned. Sidekick me, boom, pulls her hand away. In the bordering town of Lemonster, where Marcotte grew up, the incident has instructor Kevin Bliss going over self-defense moves with his summer campers. So she's going to burn her hands up under my elbows, and she's going to push me off. This is a person that could have a mental health issue, or this could be a very angry person that has an, another issue with you. If you stop to confront them, you're going to escalate it. What you want to do is de-escalate it and run. Boom. Now he's going to bring one arm up underneath my elbow again and push me away. There's no telling if moves like this would have made a difference here in Princeton or in other recent attacks. You're going to take your two fingers and you're going to poke me right in the throat. Push. But self-defense experts say it's a wake-up call that all women should prepare for a fighting chance. So from here, twisted body, I'm coming in at you. There you go. Some very helpful tips there from self-defense expert Kevin Bliss in Lemonster. And also in Lemonster tonight, another vigil for Vanessa Marcotte. That's happening in about an hour. In Princeton, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Lisa, Christina, you. thank you. If you have any information about what happened in Princeton, police want to hear from you. You can call the tip line at 508-453-7589. That number is on our website. And remember, you can remain anonymous.